How to report an independent t-test according to APA style. First of all, what is an independent t-test? An independent t-test tests whether there is a difference between two independent samples. More specifically, we want to compare the means of the two independent samples. We want to know if there is a significant difference between these means. But how to report an independent t-test? Reporting an independent t-test according to APA style requires presenting key statistics in a clear, concise manner. Here's a general guideline on how to report the results in six steps. Finally, I will show you how to automatically create the interpretation of your data. Number 1. Descriptive statistics. Begin by presenting the means and standard deviations for each group. Example, the mean score for group A was M equal to 5.110, SD equal to 1.25 and for group B M equal to 6.75 and SD equal to 1.44. Number 2. Test statistic. Report the t-value, degrees of freedom and p-value. Example, the t-test revealed a significant difference between the two groups t58 equal to 4.25, p smaller than 0.001. t58 represents the t-value followed by degrees of freedom in parentheses. p smaller than 0.001 is the p-value. Adjust this according to your results, for example, p equal to 0.045, p equal to 0.25 and so on and so forth. Number 3. Effect size. It's also common and recommended to report an effect size such as Cohen's d. This gives the reader a sense of the magnitude of the difference between groups beyond statistical significance. Example. The effect size for the difference was large, d equal to 0 0.80. For the interpretation of the effect size, you can use this table. Number 4. Confidence interval. If applicable or if it provides added value to your report, you can include a 95% confidence interval for the difference between means. Example, the 94% confidence interval for the difference in means ranged from 1.20 to 2.30. Number 5. Interpretation. Follow the statistics with a plain language interpretation of what the results mean in the context of your study. Example, thus there is a significant difference between the means of the two samples. Whether the difference is significant or not depends on whether the calculated p-value is smaller or larger than the specified significance level. The significance level is usually 5%. If the p-value is smaller than 0.05, there is a significant difference, otherwise not. Number 6. Graphs and tables. While not always necessary, visual aids like bar graphs or box plots can be helpful in visually representing the data. If you use them, ensure that they are clearly labeled and referenced in the text. Tables should be formatted according to APA guidelines. And here is a complete example. Participants in group A, M equal to 5.10, SD equal to 1.25, scored lower than those in group B, M equal to 6.75, SD equal to 1.40. The t-test revealed a significant difference between the two groups, t equal to 4.25, p smaller than 0.001. The effect size for this difference was large, with Cohen's d equal to 0.80. The 95% confidence interval for the difference in means ranged from 1.20 to 2.30. Of course, when you calculate an independent t-test online with DataTab, the summary in words is automatically generated for you. Just copy your data into this table, select your variables and click on Summary in words. Remember, 
When writing up your results, aim for clarity and precision. Ensure that someone reading your report can easily understand the statistical analysis you've conducted and the implications of the findings. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.